everyone. Welcome to Faith at Home. My name is Leah. I get started right away today by making my offering and looking over at my candle and thinking to myself, Jesus is the light of the world and I want to show that light too. I've also got my adventure Bible here today. Today we're going to hear a story from the book of Esther. But first I wanted to ask you a question. Have you ever stood up to a bully or spoken up when you saw or heard something that wasn't right? One time when I was in middle school, a group of kids was teasing another kid who kept pacing back and forth in the classroom. And rather than say something, I laughed along with them. And to this day, I still feel bad about that. I regret not having spoken up when I knew something was wrong. Then another time in high school, there was more teasing. One kid was teasing another kid during play practice and it happened almost every day until one day I finally said, hey, I've had enough. I'm sick and tired of the way you're treating this other kid. It's not acceptable and I'm not gonna stand for it anymore. And when I think about that time, <laughs> I feel powerful and proud. There are going to be times in your life when you need to stand up for what's right with your words and with your actions. In today's story, an unlikely queen, a Jewish woman named Esther, stands up to a bully. And the bully in this story is named Haman, and Haman is an advisor to King Xerxes. Haman is planning to kill all of the Jews in the kingdom, in King Xerxes' kingdom. But when Esther's cousin Mordecai finds out about Haman's plot, Mordecai goes to Esther and says, you need to use your voice. You need to speak up for the Jewish people. I invite you to watch the Holy Moly video so that you can find out what happens. Thank you and have a blessed week. Bye bye. Joe and Graham are going to help show us how to make crowns. You can see they've each got a square of colored paper. They're going to turn it over so that it's white side up. <laughs> Not right side up, but white side up. Now they will make a crease down the middle of their paper. And after they've made this crease, they'll open their papers back up, turn them 90 degrees so they can make a second crease down the middle. Yep, thanks for helping out, Graham. There you go. That way your paper will be divided into four squares that are easy to see. Open it back up. Now take the top corner and fold it down toward the middle of your squares and you'll have a little triangle. And you'll do that with the second corner so that now you've got what looks like a little house. Yeah, turn it over, inspect it. Now take the bottom of your house and fold in a rectangle shape up to the bottom of the triangle. And finally, take that rectangle and fold it up one more time. And you'll have, can you guys hold those up? What looks like a little boat or maybe a little hat. And then on the end, on the ends, you'll have a little pocket on the ends of the rectangle. Would you guys demonstrate that? Yeah. <laughs> this part's a little harder than it looks. You don't really need to blow in it. Oh, Joe, that's, that's really nice and easy to see. And each of those pockets, you'll be able to slide, um, you'll be able to slide one of these forms into the next into a circle. I'll show you how that looks in a moment. 
And Joe is sliding the purple into the green. Yeah. And then you'll fold it around. You might need help from a grown-up on this part. As you can see, the purple is sliding into the pink. <laughs> Eventually we'll get there. And our Queen Esther crowns are finished. Here's Joe, and here's Graham. I hope you have fun making them too. Bye-bye.